In this lesson, we'll learn the difference between additive and subtractive color models and what that means for us as an artist. Okay, so I have the Lesson 3 Begin file open in front of me here, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and have a brief discussion about uh, a couple of different models for mixing color. And you can see here in front of me, they're called Subtractive and Additive. Now, as you know, there is a ton of different technology out there that can effectively create com create color, uh, whether it's the computer you're looking at right now, whether it's a paintbrush and a bottle of paint. There are a lot of different methods for creating color. So I wanted to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about these two really primary uh, color models, the subtractive model and the additive model. So um, what you can see here, I've got three primary colors for each one depicted. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at subtractive first here. So uh, with subtractive color, you can see the primary colors are cyan, magenta, and yellow. And you can see here where they're overlapping, they're combining to create more colors. Now where they overlap right here in the center, they're creating black. So what we can observe by this mixture of color is really that we're beginning with white. Without any of these colors, we have we start with white, and then we when we mix them all at their uh, complete intensity or 100% intensity, we're getting black. So we start with white and end with black. Now this subtractive color model is something that would be typically used for uh, maybe a painter or even a printing press, something where you're starting with white. A painter starts with a white canvas, a, a printing press starts with a white piece of paper, and they lay color down on top of that. So, you know, that sounds kind of contradicting, being called a subtractive model, being that those colors are being added together to get black. But the name really comes from, or at least I like to remember, that when these colors are combining to make black, we're subtracting the amount of light waves uh, that are coming back into our eye to communicate color. So um, basically that's the way I like to think about it. So with the subtractive, you would see that primarily used in like a painting type of situation or a printing type situation. Now when it comes to working on a computer, our computers, just the technology behind those, they display color a little bit differently. So our computers use a series of red, green, and blue lights that when shining all at their uh, maximum intensity, those combine together to create white. So when they're all turned off, it's logical to think that, well, that would make black. So the additive color model is one where you are working on a computer and you can see those lights coming on and off. Um, and when, like I said, when they're all off, we're starting with black, but when they begin to come on, um, and say reach their full intensity, we're ending with white. So the additive color model starts with black and ends with white. And again, this color model is one that would be uh, typically a, a digital environment would use this type of a color model. So um, let me go ahead and show you a couple of examples here of how these colors mix together to create an image. So um, I'm just going to come over here to my additive example. And uh, just in case you're wondering here, under the subtractive model, I do have this extra black circle down here to remind me to tell you that whenever a printing press is printing with these three primary colors, cyan, magenta, and yellow, uh, typically that doesn't quite get dark enough to make really a really rich black. So a lot of times a printing press will add in an additional black cartridge or drum of ink to uh, sort of supplement that black. So um, now when we look here at the examples for additive, so um, let's go ahead and look at this one first. Remember that additive is using red, green, and blue, and they're combining together at various intensities to make the colors that we see. So um, with this particular example, I'm going to twirl this little arrow down, and you can see here that I have the red information, the green information, and the blue information all on their own layers here in Photoshop. Now, we're starting with black. I have a background layer here that's black in color. So um, now, let me go ahead and 
really quickly just switch these back to a normal blend mode. So um, in order to see this illustrated, what you would need to do is come up here to the blend modes for these layers. And uh, we're going to need to add them together. Being that this is the additive example, um, we're going to be adding these colors together. So um, let's go ahead and in, if you're in Photoshop CS6, you should be able to shift select all three layers at the same time and come up here to the blend mode and we're going to choose uh, this linear dodge that says add out next to it here. Uh, we'll go ahead and select that and now let's go ahead and select the red layer here and let's just go ahead and move it over and we'll use my move tool to do that come over here and just drag it over and you can see that those two colors are mixing together and our, our angry man here seems a little bit yellow so uh, red and green are going to mix together to make yellow uh, if we continue to drag that red over you're going to see that red and blue combine to make more of a magenta color so if you, are you starting to see a pattern here um, we're starting to make a sort of a second tier of colors out of our three primary colors. So um, that's for red. Now let's go ahead and grab our green here. And let's go ahead and grab it and drag it over to the blue. And you'll find that, that green and blue together are going to make cyan. So um, with that said, let's go ahead and just drag the green back over. And we'll go ahead and drag the blue over on top of the green here. And I'm going to also drag the red over on top so they're all combining together and we get our photo real image by combining those red, green and blue colors. Now remember they combine at various intensities so um, we are starting with black here and if we were to zoom in on him and look you can see there are some areas where we're almost reaching white. Areas around his teeth and maybe some of these highlights in his eyes and on his face. So we're probably not quite at white but um, again it all depends on the intensities that you're combining these colors at. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at one other example here. Let me go ahead and hide this and bring in our subtractive example. Now, remember when we talked about the sub subtractive color model, we talked about starting at white and ending at black. So if we go ahead and twirl that little arrow next to the subtractive example down and take a look here, again, you can see I've got my three colors, the three primary, cyan, magenta, and yellow, split onto separate layers here. So we can look at this just like we did with the additive example. So uh, again, with this one, though, we're going to want to change the blend mode because remember, these colors are combining together to eventually end up at black. We're not adding them together to get to white but rather to black. So um, let's come over here and choose a uh, blend mode that will multiply these together. As a matter of fact, let's just choose this multiply blend mode. And now we can come in and start to combine these. So uh, again, just like before, I'm going to drag the cyan over on top of the magenta. And you're seeing here that we're making a blue color, right? Now, again, these are the primary colors we're working with, but we're starting to see that second layer of colors here. So, um, again, let me just drag that cyan over and show you on top of the yellow, the cyan is making a green color, right? And if we were to drag maybe the magenta over on top of the yellow, you can see here that we're getting a red color. So, with that said, let's go ahead and combine all three here. together and you can see here that we're now reaching levels of black by combining each of these three primary subtractive colors cyan magenta and yellow uh, in our image here and again we're getting to the, exactly the same image as we had with the additive example so um, these are two examples of how colors interact to make more colors uh, a couple different color models we've learned in this lesson about both the additive color model as well as the subtractive color model.